We actually have a surprise for you. <laughs> That was a particularly scary point for me. I need to pull through this. I have a wife and I have like two kids at home. I need to make sure nothing happens. It was, it was a very unpleasant period. I was basically locked up in this room for 23 days. I wasn't having a lot of contact with people. If you thought being in the MCO, not being able to leave your house was bad, try being stuck in a small room for, for the entire period. I miss my family and husband so much that time. I received so much of phone calls from my family members, but uh, it's feel, it still makes me feel alone because I was in the small room for 36 days. It's not easy. I lost my sense of smell and taste for past one week. I feel like something is not okay and it started to infect my respiratory tract. Then I feel like uh, am I going to die? I just didn't want to die, basically. That was the one thought that was going through my mind. I don't want to die. I have, uh, I have a wife, I have two kids. I need to, I need to make, it, make it through this because I don't want my two children to be fatherless. Uh, so it made me realise how vulnerable we were and it made me realise that uh, what was really very important in life and basically my family was, was, probably, was my top priority in life. And, made me realize how much I love and miss them. And the first thing I did was I took a bus down to Johor Bahru to see my family again. And that was one of the best feelings I had in my entire life. It was so good to go back home, see my daughters and my wife, have them all run up to me. That felt yeah, very, very good. I was away for 23 days and I think uh, well, I felt bad about that as well because my colleagues had to pick up the shifts because I couldn't work. So when they said they were short and they asked me if I could come back to work a bit earlier, I was like, yeah, I'm coming back. Yeah. Doctor advised me not to go for holiday for any gathering. So I advised my mother and my, my family could, don't come to my house and see me. Maybe you can come and stand inside the, in front of the gate. And after two weeks, I, I meet my nurse manager. Then I said, I feel like I'm okay. I'm strong enough to go to the PUI zone. Then they assigned me. I started to wear the full PPE. I started to take care of COVID-19 patient also, positive patient. I think for me, is Dr. Thailand. He went out of his way to buy things for me, call me every day to make sure I was feeling okay and well. I briefly mentioned to him like I haven't had a nice cup of coffee in a while. And the following day, he he sent me a cup of uh, a coffee, a cafe latte. It, it seems like something very small, but it was something that was very big to me. I really respect him for that. I think what he did was very selfless and. It was very, very nice and, and if he's hearing this, I, will, I hope I could still go out and have a cup of coffee with him and uh, talk to him and thank him properly for what he did for me when I was admitted in the ward. Every time he's keep on calling and asking for the, any symptoms, he keep on explaining. But until today, I, we haven't get a chance to meet because when, whenever I call him, he was, he's not on call in uh, working. They couldn't meet, but I hopefully we will meet one day. We actually have a surprise for you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Doctor. <laughs> I was the earlier most batch in the hospital got quarantined. Things were very new at that point of time. Anyone, no matter how strong, where you stand, what position you, you are you are at. Psychosocial support is very important, especially in this kind of pandemic situation. To be more patient, but when it comes to the loneliness, no one can control it. I think the one thing I've learned, thing I want to be a kinder person as well. One of my neighbours is Malay, she, and when I was discharged, she was near Hari Raya. She asked me, do you eat dates? I said, yeah, of course I eat dates. I'm going to give you some dates. Uh, I know you can't see anyone now, I'm just going to hang it outside your door. I think Malaysia as a people are still 
we are, we are very good people. We are very kind, we are united, you know, we can be of many different ethnicities. My, I think all races coming together and helping each other during this very difficult and challenging time. 